Good morning everybody on um, YouTube. Welcome to the morning of my parents are apparently gone. Not like gone gone, they're just not here. Yeah, it's morning I um basically Richard, I didn't even lockdown's disengaged. Mm. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I I think you're on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. What I was trying to say again is, um... Oh, yeah. Basically, um... It's in my head! I know it is! No, no, there's no one here. It's all in your head. Oh. Okay, well, anyways, what was I trying to say again? Frick, I forgot. Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, I fell asleep for about eight hours. I didn't want even, um, basically, um, I woke up, um, basically sitting in my chair, and I seen on my computer screen that I quit this, the, uh, video when I did, but it's like, as soon as I quit my video, I passed out. I'm not even joking. I passed out right there. I'm a little bit, like, going... Are you serious? I passed out as soon as the freaking recording stopped. It's like I could only hold off that long. I felt kind of normal. And honestly, I just started to feel tired. Like, at all. I didn't really feel tired at all. And apparently I was. Just get away from me. Don't, don't run. It'll be easier if you come out. Real! Stop real! Get off! Get off! I will kill them. You, you're gonna pick hiding. They're always hiding when I need to see them. You! You did this! Just let me finish! Just let me finish! I gotta talk to them! Don't you see? Um, I lost my train of thought, honestly. Whoops. Are you serious? You seem relatively normal. Nishbar? All things considered, yeah. You okay? Thankfully, I was able to barricade myself in here when things got out of control. So, is it safe to come out now? No. The rest of the station is still under siege. You better stay here until help comes. In the meantime, is it possible to download Praxis software here? Yes, of course. No damage was done to the computers. See for yourself. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> oh, I can't believe I found this place. I've never I seen it. I remain here where it's safe. If you need help or get word of help, please come back. Jesus Christ, that is awesome. I didn't even know this place was here. Sweet. <laughs> This is awesome. I never found this place before. Let's go. Five. Apparently, I don't have this. Is five. William Taggart. If anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please save us. Please save us. They ruined me. The bastards ruined me. Okay. We got like three augmentations. Let's find a use for them. I don't think I'll need that for the rest of the game. Don't need that. Don't need that. Let's go with that. And. I guess. I've never used those honestly. I have no clue how they work. Don't be difficult. 
find that room. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's for checking my watch today if I actually turned it on or not. yourself. <laughs> that was a waste. Hello. That is cool. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but... Despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation. Rules governing how the technology is developed and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like... like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. Okay, well, wait, wait. All of this is as much your fault as it is Darrow's. You and your cabal. Perhaps. But all we sought was a safety valve, Mr. Jensen. A means of making sure the world would never spin out of control. The potential of this technology is great, but as we've seen, its potential for destruction is even greater. Your doomsday scenario doesn't impress me. You'd say anything to stay in power. Do you think humanity will simply police itself? We do not live in some Eden, Mr. Jensen. Or are you that much like your boss, David Seraph, who envisions a world where everyone is enhanced and suddenly they all love each other? There will always be a need for methods of control. And conveniently, in your future, the Illuminati will hold the reins. Not reimagined, no doubt. At least somewhat. 
And this technology will be a great part of it. Imagine, Mr. Jensen, a world governed by common principles. The end to international power struggles, to terrorism. These things can be accomplished if you join us. Okay, well, um, I got enough out of him. What the? You see that? Did you see that? You seen that? Please tell me everybody else has seen that. Seriously. I feel like I'm high or something. It's in my head. I know it is. Don't be. D well, anyways, um. Let's try to get all these in and I'll show you guys on the end what all these endings are. Stop running! How do you expect me to catch you? I don't man. I don't want to be caught. Usually I just kill them all once, but I'm trying to avoid killing anybody. Stop running! I've got to do this! You don't got to do anything. You you're gonna pay! Oh my god. No, no, no. This is horrible. This is best for both of us. This is outrageous. I think I bought like a shit ton of stuff. That's useless. I can't take much more of this. Stand still. Run. Don't, don't, don't. They ruined me. I can't even run. Five. Holy crap. Whoa. I'm right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I missed one. There is one I missed. I don't want to. They're making me do it. Hey, let me go. Ah, get away. Just let me do it. I got a job to do. You're the monster! It's your fault! Wow. No! You won't get me! You won't get me! Go away! Go away! Go! You don't scare me! You're not even there! Get away! Go! Oh, God! Just let me finish! Just let me finish! I got a job to do! I got a job to do! Just let me finish! Just let me finish! You're the monster! I got a job it's your to fault! Do. I got a job! Fuck you! I hate you, monster! Wow. Not real, not real, not real. <laughs> Don't run! <laughs> It'll be easier to come out! Get away! 
I missed somebody. There's somebody running around out uh, here I need to find. I just know I missed somebody. If I don't do it now, I'll never get that dang thing, and you guys won't get to see all the endings. <sighs> I know it's around here somewhere. <sighs> Where is it? No, oh, it isn't over there. Wait, what's this? Where's this go? Where does this go? Are we going down? Yeah, we're going down. Where the hell are we going? won't let me fucking hold on to anything. No. What the hell? Thank you. Just let me finish! Hey, let me go! Ah, get You're not able to come through there. <laughs> you don't scare me. You're not even there. Get away. Go. Okay, seriously, my button's not working on my mouse, and it's really annoying. It won't let me click at all. Is there another one over here or something? I can understand probably a little bit. Just leave me alone! Alone, all of you! Ah, That's weird. Fuck you! Sweet. I'm like clicking rapidly and I'm not doing anything sometimes. I'm asking he's not for some reason working. Found it. Somebody in test launch bay, I guess. Adam! Hello. Oh, thank God you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. 
The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities, and Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my god, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. But if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son, you have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. Okay. I got to ask one question. I don't think... Well, it's actually not really a question. Then. Um, I don't think there is any other... Other spots I have to get anything. So I think I'm good. Wait, can I save? I can't save, damn it. Well I guess what? This is gonna be hell for me. Oh, oh, I it's in my head! I know it is! Uh. It's probably the weirdest recording ever. Okay. Well, I guess you guys will get to see the ending in this video. Wait, how many videos does that make? Let's see. One, two, three. I, have I don't know which one I have uploaded right now. Frick. I don't know. I, I, I won't even bother to tell you guys because I don't think I'll probably be wrong. But it looks like we're going to succeed, hopefully. Don't be difficult. This is the best for both of us. Die, you monster! Bad. Don't! 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 Don't mess with the angry Jensen. Hey! Sneak! I see you, Sneak! Oh. I like those apples. Oh. What are you doing here? Well, looks like we're at the end, guys. Pretty much. There's no coming back. I can't get a back up here after this. I hope I got everything. They locked me anything, I can't do anything. Alright, there we go. See, they want to make sure you can run back over there. Smart idea, I got a man. I want to look down the big hole. Wow. This is a lot of work. Can you imagine how long it took them to build this? Nonetheless, I have a quick question. How long did it take to pump the water out of here? Yes, where's all the power coming from? That's another thing. I have a lot of questions.
Well, should be interesting, guys. This should be interesting. Maybe my other watch. I am a watch collector. And that girl's gonna get a lot of watches. I don't wear many watches, I wear one, and that's about it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to there yet. I'm sorry, but I'm not. See, these guns are useless. No. Actually, we'll use these. These are useless. I can't do anything with them. Whatever I can get. Okay. What do we got? We'll roll with it. What the hell? doing? Connecting to Panchea's Haran project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave. Alert. Unable to transfer control to alpha. Uh, the system will recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the energy. I can't control Iron! Increasing vigilance. 22%. Sal! Get them out of there! I have to reach the control chamber! No! I can feel control! I can control! Stop the signal! Security alert. Through the primary control panel. Oh, shit. I can't kill them like I usually do. I have to hack the system. I don't know what that does. security in place. To access Alpha Pod, purge tertiary pod. Ah. I must be the one to alter the signal! No. Once I do, the council will welcome me with open arms! Ah. Manual override of tertiary pods initiated. Total system purge in effect. Shutting down tertiary stations. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. I don't have to worry about that. Electric discharge sequence initialized. Where did you get that code? Come out of the blue. 2012, down. are you serious? This Is that will easy? not stop me, Jensen! It's happening! Harry is compromised! No! What is it? It's initiating emergency protocols! You don't know the resources they have at their disposal, Jensen! Despite your special genetics, oh, you have been. No Just in time. time. Initiate the protocol. Warning. 
Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Halfway to discharge sequence. Warning. Primary plot compromised. Secondary security measures activated. Evacuate area. You still cannot reach me, Jensen. There are too many contingencies built into this system. You and I have both failed. Sorry, I just had to, I had to wait on this thing. Got this one like not too long ago. I burned two mice so much. Access granted. <sighs> Barely in time. Okay. Oh my god, sweet. Oh, sweet. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I just had to do that. Hello, Adam. Welcome to the edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. 
Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. However, if you desire I can alter Darrow's message. Conceal the creation of the biochip while putting in new content. Content blaming the humanity front. Like Seraph suggested. The organization has already admitted to harboring terrorists. It would be easy to convince people they turn to biological warfare in a more desperate attempt to get rid of augmented people. But why? What would that achieve? In time, it could shift the focus of hatred onto people whose prejudices are seen as too extreme, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution as they desire. But if you want me to perform this edit for you, you must disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Alternatively, Darrow's message can be adjusted to erase all mention of the power group known as the Illuminati. I can report that lack of proper regulation allowed vast quantities of neuropazine to become contaminated prior to reaching the market. Taggart's preference. You think the world will buy a made-up story about neuropazine poisoning? You might be surprised by what people believe. I can convince them. And having experienced the negative effects of corporate negligence firsthand, a majority of people might force the world to place harsh restrictions on all human enhancement research. But only if you disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? Well, um... You know what, guys? I'm gonna give you... Okay, seriously, Mouse, this is not funny. I'm gonna save real quick. And... Yeah, there's four saves, guys. Just in case I screw up one of my videos, I could go back to, like, a little bit farther. But anyways, um, beside the point. I'm gonna give you guys the, the exact one I like to choose. I'm not joking, this is the one I like to pick. So, I'll show you guys the other ones, but I won't be talking during them. So, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will continue. If you do this, the world will be left with questions, and may never reach a consensus. Are you sure this is your choice? We have little time left, Adam. And might I say, it has been a pleasure. <laughs> trust mankind to save itself. That's what Eliza was asking. The truth is, I don't know. After everything I've seen, all the fighting and the chaos around me, I only know what I want to believe. Somehow, human decency will triumph. These past few months, 
I've faced many life-threatening situations. I could have given up many times, but my need to know the truth, to uncover the secrets that others were hiding, and to survive forced me to keep on going. Most of the time, I tried to keep my values in mind, knowing my actions did not have to harm others. I held on to my humanity, resisting the urge to abuse power or resources in order to meet my goals. And in the end, I got the job done. But does this mean I have the right to choose for everyone? No. Because it isn't up to me. It isn't up to Darrow, Sarah, or Taggart either. Ordinary men and women will have to decide together what course mankind should take. The kind of people who time and time again have picked and chosen the future in highly practical ways. Slowing change when it's negative, speeding it up when it's good. Can they do it again? I don't know. But I do know I'm not about to let anyone in this station, myself included, stand in their way. If you do this, the focus of hatred may shift to those responsible for unleashing biological warfare leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Seraph was right about one thing. It's in our nature to want to rise above our limits. Think about it. We were cold, so we harnessed fire. We were weak, so we invented tools. Every time we met an obstacle, we use creativity and ingenuity to overcome it. The cycle is inevitable. But will the outcome always be good? I guess that will depend on how we approach it. These past few months, I was challenged many times. But more often than not, didn't I try to keep morality in mind? knowing that my actions didn't have to harm others? Time and time again, didn't I resist the urge to abuse power and resources simply to achieve my goals more swiftly? In the past, we've had to compensate for weaknesses, finding quick solutions that only benefit a few. But what if we never need to feel weak or morally conflicted again? What if the path Saraf wants us to take enables us to hold on to higher values with more stability? One thing is obvious. For the first time in history, we have a chance to steal fire from the gods. To turn away from it now, to stop pursuing a future in which technology and biology combine, leading to the promise of a singularity, would mean to deny the very essence of who we are. No doubt the road to get there won't be bumpy, hurting some people along the way. But won't achieving the dream be worth it? We can become the gods we've always been striving to be. We might as well get good at it. If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside, to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Albert Einstein said, Technological progress is like an axe in the hands of a pathological criminal. It took me a while, but I finally see his point. 
How often have we chased the dream of progress only to see it perverted? More often than not, haven't the machines we built to improve life shattered the lives of millions? And now we want to turn that dream on ourselves to fundamentally improve who we are. Experience has shown me how dangerous that can be. How many times in the Call of Duty did I almost fall into the trap of taking shortcuts, abusing my abilities or the resources at hand? I resisted. Barely at times, because I valued human lives and considerations. Can I truly despise others who fall? Technology offers us strength. Strength enables dominance, and dominance paves the way for abuse. Darrow understood this. He knew that using technology to become something more than we are risks losing our ability to love, aspire, or make moral choices. The very things that make us human. It also risks giving some men the power to make others what they choose, regardless of the cost to human dignity. The suffering Darrow inflicted is not the end of the world. It is merely the seed for change. And change never comes without pain. If you do this, first-hand experience with corporate negligence on such a grand scale may convince mankind to enact harsh restrictions on human enhancement research. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Freedom. To those who don't have it, it's more valuable than gold. But where should it start and end? We humans often think we have the right to expand, absorb, convert, or possess anything we need to reach our dreams. But time and time again, hasn't this led to conflicts with others who essentially believe the same thing? Looking back on the challenges I faced, at the way I often resolve them, I realize morality can become our saving grace. Most of the time, didn't I try to keep my values in mind, knowing how my actions would affect others? More often than not, I resisted the urge to abuse power and resources, simply to reach my goals more swiftly. I managed to hang on to my humanity. But the temptation to ignore it was always there. It's that temptation that so worries Taggart. He's not afraid of freedom. He's afraid of the chaos that erupts when individuals have nothing but morality to constrain them. He wants us to regulate enhancement technologies because he fears all that power, without limits, without guide rails to keep us from abusing it. Absolute freedom is no better than chaos. Society needs laws and regulations to protect it. So if the men and women behind Taggart need to work in the shadows, Pulling strings to enable us to head in a safe direction. Will supporting them be all that bad? If they're as wise as Taggart says, how bad will their leadership be? I just hope they stand by what they say.